Well, they they made an announcement in uh, at the beginning of the third period, so that's when we formally knew. The big thing for us is we wanted to play tonight's game the right way and take care of our own business. So regardless of what happened on the road uh, with those other teams, we wanted to make sure that uh, we took care of our own business and we played the game the right way and got the two points. So it's a good good feeling. Coach John Ford, is it the kind of maybe you let that happen? You know, last week with, with uh, the, uh, I guess, the, the couple losses building up, but you guys kind of bounce back. You know, and it's a great time to do it because playoffs are right around the corner. Yeah, I, um, you know, this team has been uh, playing at a very good clip um, basically since the middle of middle of January and playing real hard. And um, uh, even when our streak was broken there, uh, I thought the fellas um, – Played extremely well, played for each other. Uh, a lot of times with a, a thin lineup and players playing out of position or or uh, up in the batting order, and we found ways to win games. Last week was a tough week on the road versus some desperate and urgent teams. Um, but now with all of our players back in the lineup, uh, we've had two wins this week against uh, good opponents, and uh, our game is rounding into form at the most important time of year. Having the division secured, is that going to change anything about who you take up to Stockton or who you play? Well, uh, I think as a coaching staff, we're going to take uh, the 15, 20 minutes here after the game and enjoy uh, enjoy it with the players. And then our focus uh, will be on putting together uh, um, a good lineup for tomorrow night and, and making sure that, uh, like I said, we don't want any habits, poor habits to creep into our game. We want to play the game the right way. And... Um, Part of uh, doing that is is icing a good lineup and making sure that uh, we give ourselves every chance to win the game tomorrow night as well. And winning the division is that, you know, something you envisioned back in what was it the summer when you hired? That's well, you know what I envisioned uh, going back to um, taking the job and then uh, thinking about what to say in a press conference um, when I was introduced and whatnot. I wanted to see a team. Uh, that played a connected brand of hockey that cared for each other, uh, that was connected to their teammates and, and to their coaching staff and to the organization and to the community. And um, I, I, I'd be lying if I said that I, I thought we were going to win the Pacific, Pacific Division um, during the regular season. But what I did see was was what we are seeing, which is a, a team that uh, who, whose care for each other runs marrow deep. Um, they play within a structure. They play towards an identity. And when they do that, I, I think um, it gives us a chance to win every game uh, that we're in. It doesn't mean we will win every game that we're in. It gives us a chance. And um, like I said, I couldn't be more impressed with the way these uh, 24, 25, 26 players battle for each other on a nightly basis. And I, I'd say that um, I'm really proud of the fact that they do uh, they do work for each other and they are a true definition of a team. Coach, how prepared do you think the guys are for the postseason? I mean, I know Gambardello and Curry, they were going up against a lot of teams in the league that were fighting for that seven or eight spot in the playoffs. So maybe I think they may have a little edge, uh, especially for you guys. Yeah, I, uh, I look at the regular season as dress rehearsals for the most important time of year, which is the postseason. Uh, we didn't do it in the media, but it, internally we talked a lot about preparing ourselves uh, to play playoff hockey, but to do it early uh, so that we weren't surprised. So uh, you heard us use terms like scoring playoff goals or um, committing to win games one nothing or 2-1, to one, uh, taking pride in the defensive side of the game. All those things were in preparation uh, to be prepared for game 69. And um, I like where our team's at. One more question here. The uh, crowd support all year long. You guys get over 21, over 20 wins this season. Um, you know, how excited are you guys to, get to bring playoff hockey back to uh, Bakersfield, especially for the first time in the American Hockey League? Well, I think you heard it tonight at uh, Rabble Bank Arena. When it's uh, filled to the brim like it was tonight, our fans are, are passionate. They're loud. Um, they give us that um, extra bolt of, or extra bit of energy uh, that playing on home ice uh, in, in tough confines usually gives home teams. Um, like I said, we talked about being a connected team, uh, connect, teammates connected, 
connected with their coaching staff and the organization. But what I've been really impressed with is how connected this team is with the community of Bakersfield. We set out right from day one to ice a team that this community could be proud of. And uh, I think uh, you can see that this, this community is proud of this team and where it's going.